Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you and thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from the Delord Armagnac line. Of course, Delord every year puts out a bunch of different vintages. Uh, price points can range anywhere from like $79 upwards to like $200, 200 $300, somewhere in there uh, for the different vintages. Now, the one we're going to take a look at today, the reason I selected it was because it was a new one, right? I have been a fan of Delord for many, many years. The older ones had a lot of black wax. This new one is a copper wax. Has it both on the box with the little gold um, seal and on the bottle. It is 40% uh, ABV. Uh, this one was from 1976, I believe. And, uh, 75. And it is, yeah, 1975. And it's about 46 years old. They have 45-year-old ones. They have 50-year-old ones. A lot of 40s and 30s. They have a cast strength one. They're all great, okay? The one I'm reviewing, it just happens to be the 46-year-old, um, and that's the one I bought. Retail pricing, somewhere between, man, I would say about 125 typically, and again, 150 for this bottle, somewhere in there. But again, if you don't want to spend that, you can definitely go younger, and they're all really, really good. But I wanted to do this review for you so we can see where they're at currently here in the back end of 2022. All right. On the nose. Good grief. Wow. That's, that's a fruity, oaky Armagnac. And I will say when I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking of some of the other Delords. You know, those 30s. Strike a great balance of, you know, the oak and the fruit. The 25, that's a price point at usually about $80, $90 maybe. The 25, great, great Armagnac. But the key for all of these is they usually like to breathe. So if you can get them to the, past that shoulder and then let them sit for a few months, they're going to get better and better. And I typically find the sweet spot to be about six months, if you can believe it or not. Um, once they get to a year, I've had some that peak at a year, uh, but really that's about it. So six months to a year, by then you either need to, you know, start drinking them and get rid of them or start gassing them or some other method of putting them in smaller bottles, something to kind of start limiting, uh, the influence that the trapped oxygen is going to have on the spirit. Okay. But wow, on the nose, this has like a big big brown sugar cola nose and if you want to be specific think like an rc cola characteristic big big blackberry raspberry cherry figs yeah a little bit of a golden raisin in on this one the baking spices. I would call this one on the sweetness of the nutty. There's a nuttiness, but it's very sweet. Almonds in here. A little bit of anise or anise, however you like to say it. But it's very, very tart and tangy, even on the nose. Those fruits are really popping in there. There's lots of oak in here. All right, let's taste it. Oh, yeah. Really good viscosity. Medium, just above medium. Oh, it does get dry. It's the only thing to remember. The older you get on Armagnacs, typically the more wood is going to be there. So... I am picking up a lot of wood, but there's also a very big clove note and a lot of fruit happening. Here we go, second sip. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that big fruit. The plums, the figs, the golden raisins, that cherry, raspberry. Maybe even a little bit of blackberry tone in here. That there's a big 
like the baking spices hit on the mid palate. And of course, there's the big oat, but there's also a big like um, clove and that little bit of that almost like a light, very light licorice. So it's the anise or the anise that's definitely in there as well. Almost dried orange peels would be a flavor descriptor I would use for this one. Because it's not like an orange oil necessarily, and it's not even like the zest. It's more like those uh, Seville, those dried orange peels a lot. On the back end, that big, heavy, resinous oak gets joined with some walnuts and with that almond characteristic. So it's kind of sweet, kind of dry. Um, but it's a very, very old Armagnac. And to get this bottle at a price point around 125 150 I think that's a pretty good deal. Again, some of my favorite Armagnacs tend to be about 30 years old right in there. 30, 40, that's usually a real good sweet spot. When they start getting this old, they start getting into the 50s. Be careful because again, that oak can become a little too dominant if you're not careful. They start drying out, getting a little bitter. There is a little bitterness, a little bit of dryness on this one on the back end, but uh, it's saving grace is actually that the, the fruit from the very beginning really elongate, kind of carry over into that finish. So it really kind of helps it. Big clove. Uh, when I'm sitting there just breathing out, it's just massive amounts of dark chocolate and clove on the back end and of course that big heavy oak so hopefully you can find the lords near you uh just letting you know that they're still out there they're still really good even if you see the newer ones with the copper wax they're doing really well just be careful when you start getting up in age be mindful of that um but yeah i think they're really good buys still and they love to breathe so always remember that of course, if you want to get this video two weeks early, join me over at patreon.com slash liquorhound. Help support me there because I do individually buy every bottle I review. There I'm not sponsored, I'm, you know, so you're going to get unbiased reviews each and every time from me. Uh, but I would really appreciate your support over there. Uh, but if you're watching this over on YouTube, hey, greatly appreciate you being here. So keep leaving all those great comments and I'll get back to them just as soon as I can. Everyone have a great day and cheers.